All right, YouTube, I'm hungry. I'm going to make me some tacos, all right? Not just any tacos. You know, I'm going to make some pulled pork tacos, all right? Why am I going to do that? Because they're delicious. All right, let's review what we have here for our tacos. All right, we're gonna start out and we have some uh, diced tomatoes with some green chilies. We have some taco seasoning that I warmed up and, and some water, some onions. We're gonna go over here and we're, we're gonna find ourselves some uh, lemon juice. We have some red bell peppers, some garlic, some cheese, and what, some leftover pulled pork. You know, if, if you know me, you know I gotta have some honey mustard somewhere there's going to be ranch we're going to be using the cheapest corn tortillas i could find and uh some canola oil all right all right guys so there's our ingredients right what are we going to put down first i'm going to tell you what i'm going to put down first put down some onions right and my burners they're all at about i don't know 75 percent it is what it is look at that looks like my chopper uh, the person who chopped this is my beautiful wife. Look at that. I don't, I don't need that piece. And I'm going to have to go back there and get it because onions are not good for your dogs. All right, so I'm going to have to go fetch that myself. There goes my onions. I'm going to let them cook down. Remember, my pulled pork, it's leftover pulled pork, right? It's not even really leftover pulled pork. I got that pulled pork. You know, I didn't get it. You know, but uh, I made that pulled pork just so I could make stuff with it. You know, so I purposely didn't sauce it. Um, if you look at it, before I put it in the bowl, I, I left some of the, um, I guess, the lard in it just a little bit. So when I reheat it, it keeps a little bit of the flavor and juices in it. All right. Here with my onions, I'm just looking for the onions to soften up just a little bit. You know, we're going to add this to our mix. They're, they're going in with that pulled pork. Oh, my God. Guys, yeah, smell a vision already, all right? Maybe you can scratch and sniff this. I don't know. But there you go. You know, this Blackstone, if you watched my previous video, I just seasoned it, you know. Uh, I had some warranty issues, so they sent me out a new top. So this is what I'm working with now, all right. Um, as I cook more, you're going to see it start to season itself up more, you know. But I don't want to, uh, I'm not going to force it. You know, it's already seasoned enough to cook on. You know, you see I'm not sticking. Um, we'll be good for this cook, definitely. And as life goes on, um, it'll get back to the other the other top. You know, the same color, the same amount of non-stickness, the same amount of goodness in that flavor, you know. So that's where we're at. Those onions are already starting to do their thing, right? I'm not going to cook those onions all the way down. I'm not trying to turn them into a soupy, like, um, really pliable onion. I want to leave some of their, their uh, texture, I guess, some of their consistency um, intact, right? Uh, because they're going to cook more with our pulled pork. All right, so my next step is the easy step. I'm going to take my, my garlic, and I'm just going to add it in here, right? Garlic likes to cook and burn fast, right? So I don't like putting garlic down by itself. You know, it, it's not my, my chore to want to burn my garlic. It don't taste good. No one likes it. Um, and it is what it is, right? So don't burn your garlic um just do what you gotta do you know i'm trying to get my wife's attention to bring me my strainer because i'm gonna need my strainer but she's chilling over there at the door staring at me not not watching just staring i guess but we're gonna use this too guys so right now i'm gonna put it off to the side you know that garlic i'm gonna turn it just a couple times i gotta mix it in there all my burners are pretty low right now but uh for right now i'm gonna turn off this one over here on the far right you know, left and right. So the one over here is off. We'll give it a second. And we're just gonna push all these onions over. I don't need them right now. Onions and red peppers. Mm, 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 mm. All right, look at that. They look good over there too. All right, so we push them over. They're just gonna sit there. I don't really need to do this, but I like to do this. I'm just going to give it a little scrape, get a little bit of that burnt off, all right? Throw it back there in my hole. Look at that, looking all, all good. 
add just a little bit of oil there. I guess I could have put butter, but I'm going to use oil. I looked at it in my grill top. It's pretty level, um, but it is what it is. So here we go, guys. Look, this here is my pulled pork. It's the secret recipe right here, folks. Look at that. Isn't that goodness? All right. What I want to do with this pulled pork is I am not going to just throw it down. I want to kind of, I'm going to glob it. It ain't going to come out without a glob, but I want to like kind of level it out. You know, uh, I don't want it all to hit the grill at once. You know, this griddle is hot and I want to try to keep it as hot as I can. So I want to level it out. And guys, this is room temperature. You know, I, I froze it after I made it and now it's room temperature. Oh my goodness. Folks, and, you know, it's already cooked. So we ain't looking to cook this thing. We're looking to reheat it, all right? And reheat it, we will. All right, look at it sticking over there just a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. We're not wasting this. Look at it start to brown up. This is going to be so good in my belly. All right, so now I'm making a little pocket here. All right? This is going to heat up fast. The grill is hot. We don't have to rush it. And this don't have to be hard. We in the backyard. All right. So here we go. Taco seasoning. Whisk it just a little bit. Pick up all the stuff from the bottom of this, uh, this measuring cup, right? Pour it in our pocket. It's going to run out, folks. That pocket isn't like the Hoover Dam. We know it's going to run out. And we're okay with that. But work it in. Work it into your taco uh, meat. I don't care what your meat is. You know, uh, you could have made chicken. And I'm going to make some chicken tacos, son. You're going to see how good that looks. All right? Work that in there. Give it some time. Look at all that steam coming off of it. That steam equals goodness, all right? Mmm. Look at these tacos already shaping up. All right, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I don't care who you are. That looks good already. You know what else looks real good? These tomatoes. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, pow. All right. Those, those tomatoes are a little spicy. They're going to spice it up our life a little bit, all right? We're also going to take this uh, lemon juice. We're going to put that in there too. All right. We got to work that lemon juice the same way we work that taco seasoning. We're just going to stir it up just a little bit. Get a little stir, stir. They don't have to be perfect. The, these uh, flavors, they're going to mesh together eventually. It don't matter. You know, uh, there we go. Just give it a stir, let it sit out. Let those tomatoes warm up. You'll actually see the tomatoes by the time we're done. They're going to change colors a bit. And that's okay. You know, that, that means they're goodness. Oh, my goodness. Guys, also, if you don't smoke your own pulled pork, go to the grocery store. Find yourself some pulled pork that don't have any sauce on it. Sauce is pulled pork. There you go. I suggest you add a little bit of butter, a little bit of lard to your pulled pork before you uh, put it on your grill top. You know, uh, keep it moist. Keep it good. You know. There we go. Look at this. Guys. That ain't some good taco filling. I don't know what is. Oh my goodness. As far as seasonings are concerned, um, you know, it's nice to have some good good sauces and seasonings. We's in the backyard. You know what you like to eat on your pulled pork. Um, this ain't got to be hard. You know, you can come out here, take your pulled pork, make sure it's greasy. You know, you want the grease factor. And just chill with it, you know. Put it on there with no seasoning. Put some tomatoes in it. Put some onions in it. Put some uh, bell peppers in it. You don't have to use any seasoning. You know, seasoning just makes the world go a little bit better. All right. This is starting to look good. Guys, we're just going to spread this out. We're going to let it sit for a second. I'm going to let you watch that goodness for literally a second. I need to run over here and get my taco stands. You can't have tacos without taco stands. No, sir. No, sir. Look at this. Not one taco stand, but two taco stands in my hand. Huh. Who's got the taco taco stands in their hands? I do. Guys, I, I made it out to my local Walmart. I don't know if these are new this year or not, but these are a heck of a lot better than ones you find on Amazon that are all metal. 
This doesn't get hot. I've used them a couple times already. These things are, are liquid gold, not even liquid gold. These are these are blackstone gold, all right? Oh, jeez, blackstone gold right there. All right, my tacos, the bottoms of them are starting to crisp it up. They're starting to get something going on there. We're just gonna turn this again. Look at that, does that look good? Look at that, that's flavor, guys. Look at that tomato changing. These, all these tomatoes are starting to change. Remember, if it don't change colors, when you make it tacos, you're not making something right, I guess. I don't know. But this is goodness. Look, just look at it. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Folks, just, just look. This is why people like me stay fat. Blackstone, you're a contributor to my diabetes. All right? Blackstone caused my diabetes. They're going to, like, call me now and try to sue me, I'm sure. But I ain't got nothing anyways. What do they got? They got a business. What do I got? I got a Blackstone 36-inch griddle. They can have it back, I guess. All right, so nevertheless, look at that. Just look at this gravy. Oh, my gosh, folks. You know, how many ingredients did I make? Hold on. How many ingredients did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ingredients so far, right? Then we got some taco shells that we're going to use. Then we got some cheese. And, again, your cheese is optional. You don't have to use cheese in this. All right, so, guys, I never turn back on this burner. I'm going to use this cold side to my advantage. I'm going to push this over real quick. I want it off this hot side just for a couple minutes. I want to raise that temperature back up. As we raise that temperature up, I'm actually going to take this off the griddle. I changed my mind. Here goes my strainer. This stainless steel, you know, you could take this and put it on your sink. This is awesome. I've been using it on the Blackstone. You could tell where the stainless steel, the oil started to bond to it a little bit. I've scrubbed it down. This is awesome. It retains a lot of heat. This thing's going to get hot. So once you put it on here, don't think you're going to be playing with it too much. When I get ready to take this off this griddle, I'm going to be using a pair of gloves. This thing's going to be hot. All right. So I think that's the only thing out here that's not a Blackstone product. No, the bowls. You know, there you go. Everything else I use, I think, has a Blackstone label on it. I'm going to throw this in there. As it heats up, some of that liquid I put in, you're going to see in some of the greases and lards and stuff, they're going to uh, end up on the griddle top. And that's okay. Um, think of this as a big warming tray, right? It's going to keep everything warm. Um, and some of these oils are going to fall through the side. All right. Get all this out. I don't have my food mover today. You know, uh, this is supposed to be a quick and easy lunch video. Um, but now we're going in some depth, right? So check this out. Just go like that a couple times, get some of that burnt off. Because this next part is the part that I love the best. All right. We got to make sure our grill is somewhat clean. Oh, my gosh. Mm. And then we're going to move this off the side. Get up underneath there. Oh, push all that down there. I don't need any of that on my grill. Get in there. All right, guys. So listen. Oh, my goodness. It don't have to be perfect. We're in the backyard. But now we're fixing to cook ourselves some taco shells. All right. So this side here, I'm going to turn down the way low. In the middle, I'm going to put it on high. What I like about these tacos uh, holders is my spatulas fit right there with these taco holders chilling, right? Ain't that sweet? You know, my, my beautiful assistant, beautiful bride, is going to get me a pair of tongs, right? So uh, we're going to make these taco shells just real quick. First thing we're going to do, we're going to use some canola oil, and we're going to put it on nicely. You know, and nicely to me means we're going to put more then probably we need on there. All right, and we're gonna give it a second. We wanna make sure this, this can oil actually gets warm, right? Look at that, that was off the bottom, that's fine. We'll push them off to the side. That can oil oil is warm. Now we're gonna take our taco uh, shells, you know, and these taco shells, I'm cheap, I'm lazy. These taco shells are some corn tortilla shells, and they're the cheapest ones that Walmart had to offer, and I love them, you know, um, I love the consistency. They're not very thick. Oh my gosh. You know, uh, I'm just going to put this on there. We're going to let it sit. What I like to look for is a little bubbling around the edge. If you look, I'm bubbling around these edges, right? Um, I'll start to bubble on the center. And I always do mine in groups of four because that's how big my blackstone is. You know, this is 36 inch blackstone. I wish I had like a 64 inch blackstone. You know, give me some space. You know, I'm fat and I like to cook. 
All right, so here goes uh, my spatulas. I'm just gonna give them a little rundown, get some of the bottom off. This one's a lot cleaner than the other one. It's fine. We in the backyard, we don't gotta hurt nobody. You know, uh, we don't gotta complain and whine. It is what it is. Your equipment in the backyard, it get dirty. You know what I mean? If you want Fritzy, go, go find a kitchen. You know what I mean? This could be your uh, KitchenAid electric griddle. You know, you could be making tacos on that and that's fine. You know, um, if that's what you want. That's, that's up to you. All right. So uh, for, for me, these tacos are going to be yummy. Look at this. See that bubbling in the center? We're just going to flip it. Look how perfect that looks. Look how perfect that looks, son. Oh, my goodness. Again, guys, we're not going to let this sit for an hour. You know, we flipped it. We know one side's already really hot. These things are really thin. This side is going to get really hot really quick, too. All right. So here we go. As we set up these taco shelves, my wife is going to go get me my giant spoon. So we can load these tacos here in a second. Look what I did there. I dropped it over the top. I pushed it down in there. You know, I'm going to use my fingers. It's hot. Be careful. All right. We're just going to line these. We're cooking tacos, son. Look how good that looks. Ain't this gravy? And we cooked up our tacos. But this is how to use a taco stand too, right? That's right. I'm showing you how to use that taco stand. Huh. Ah, that's all right. You all watch for long enough, you're going to realize we do things different in the backyard. But it's always yummy, son. You know, uh, we're going to take our time. We do it right. We do it our way. Our way's got to be the right way because I said so. You know, uh, and we'll, we'll try to go from there. Guys, you notice I put a taco shell up here in the front. That taco shell is not going to cook the same as the rest. Every black stone I've had of this size, the hot zone's right through the center. That's fine. We'll just have to move it around a little bit. We ain't going to hurt nothing today. Um, while we wait for those to cook up, and I run my mouth a little bit more, I got my spoon here. All right? And remember, this is hot. Um, so if you're going to touch it, make sure you fill it around. You know, you get to decide how much of this meat you want in each one of your tacos. This is up to you. You know, in my house, I like more meat. I'm fat. In your house, I don't know, maybe you use on a diet. Maybe you don't want so much meat. You know, that's the beautiful part about being in your backyard. We're going to cook high quality food, right? But I get to decide what I do to my food. And I'm a fatty, you know. I don't really care. This food's going to be good. We're going to enjoy it. You know, uh, I'm going to put a lot of food in there. And what I want is I want that taco to drip down my, my elbow. You know, I want to go right down my hoodie into my elbow and I'll be happy. Oh my goodness. All right. Come on, let's get a little bit more. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, I always start my tacos by putting them right here in the center. But you can go all the way over. You know, you can come all the way over to here. This whole thing is a taco rack. All right, so here, we're going to flip this taco. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Boy. Now, remember, this one's going to look a little different. That's okay. That's okay. We'll have the doctor that one a little bit. It needs its mama, and we're going to give it to its mama, right? You know what you could also do? You could dip these in like an oily beef broth. Just make sure it's really oily. You know, um, I've used chicken broths before. Um, give your taco shell a little bit more uh, flavor, if you will. You know, uh, let's grab this back one just so you all can see it. Oh, my gosh. Be gingerly when you put it in there. You, this ain't no race. We got time, you know. You got lots of time. Make sure it looks good. It don't have to be perfect, guys. You know, uh, but it's got to look somewhat decent. Why do we make sure it looks decent? Because I got kids, all right? And what kids do is they eat with their eyes, right? If they see something that looks good, they're going to eat it. If they see something and it looks like crap, they don't want that anymore. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure this looks like, like candy to them, all right? These tacos got to look the best they can look. And once they do, these kids are going to eat good. I'm going to eat good. We all going to be fat and happy. And who could ask for anything more? Well, that's the name of a song. Huh? What's the song? You know the song? She can think of how it goes. She just don't want me to tell her to sing it on camera. She knows how that song goes. Come on, Jess. What's the song? There she goes. She's singing. And she's doing it real quiet, like, because she knows you can't hear her. 
That's my wife right there, the, the, the artist, the singer. All right, guys, that taco shell, we're doing a lot sitting in that oil. Let it go. Let it go. Let's get some more on there. How many more spots we got? We got one, two, three, four more spots. Do we need three more shells? Oh, looky, looky, looky. And man, do I love these shells. There goes one. There goes the next one. One more, right? One more. I pulled out two more. You know what that means? It means I get to eat one, son. We'll put it back there for now. This one here, we're going to flip. Put her in there. Oh, that one there. That one there might be the one I eat. It don't look so pretty anymore, all right? So uh, we'll just, I'm going to throw that off to the side. Let it cook back there. I'm going to eat that one. I'm happy. Um, and I'm going to eat it just to eat it. That, that there is a corn chip now. I turned that into a chip. So you let that cool down. Eat it up, son. Eat it up, all right? Look at this one. This one's ready to go. It's sitting in that oil hardcore. Boom. All right. You're just looking for them to start to brown. You, you don't have to sit here and burn them. You know, take your time. You know, this doesn't, I, I keep on saying it, guys. So listen, I'm going to say it over and over again. You want high quality food? It don't got to be hard. Sit in your backyard, practice, watch some YouTube. You don't have to watch me. If you like what I do, hit the subscribe button. Enjoy what I do. But find someone else you like to watch if you don't like to watch me. Come out, sit out in your backyard, drink a beer, have a soda, maybe some iced tea, enjoy yourself, and learn how this equipment works. And you're going to be so pleased with your life. This will turn you around because food, what is it? Quality of food, quality of life. You know, I, I heard that somewhere, and it stuck with me. And that's what it is. If you make good food, you're going to make good uh, lifelong choices. And everyone uh, knows that uh, you got to make good choices in life, right? And, son, you don't get this by not knowing what good food is, all right? It just doesn't happen, you know? I guess it could. I guess this could be like a Pepsi, a Dr. Pepper, a ginger ale. I don't know. But for me, I'm going to tell you what it is. This side is steak and maybe a little potato down here. You know, a little pork belly over here. <laughs> you know, uh... Son, you just got to have fun and eat and have, have a jolly life. All right, look, we're going to fill up these tacos. We're going to douse them. Everything should be on low now. This side is actually off, right? This guy here, I'm going to turn. Oh, look at him. He's crisping it up. That's going to be a nice one. All right, turn that over. Guys, I'm going to bring these tacos out to the center. I want to, there we go. It is what it is. I have my magic spoon back here. You know, remember to tap this because this could be hot. It's starting to get warm. Remember I told you this keeps it warm. This is hot still. This ain't cold. This ain't cold taco season uh, uh, filling. All right? Fill in your taco. Have fun with it. Learn. Learn how much to put on that spoon so it looks good in your taco. Right? So it ain't over, over burning your taco. You know, you, you don't want this thing to fall out your taco. Oh my goodness. Son, look at that. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Oh my God. Look. For the camera. For the camera. Look at that. I hope they can see that. I hope they can see that. Normally I turn the lens around. I know if you can see it or not. You know, that's some good stuff right there. Yes, sir. Look at that. Mm. 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 And if you make a mistake, guess what you just wasted? Let's see. The pork is like $10 for eight, nine pounds, right? Um, I only have a pound here, so that's what a, a dollar, right? Um, the tortillas for like a whole big old mess of them was only like two bucks. You know, the cost of an onion, green pepper, and a little bit of cheese. Guys, you can afford to mess this up. Trust me. And you want to mess this up. You want to play with it. Just because I do it this way doesn't mean you have to do it this way. You know, this is the way I make my pork taco. You know, and as life goes on, you're going to see how I make beef tacos, how I make brisket tacos. You know, I'm going to make a lot of tacos. You know, actually, at some point, I'm just going to go on the internet, and I'm going to type in taco recipe, and I'm going to make some tacos, son. All right? So, I just add me some cheese. You don't have to add cheese if you don't want it. Some people don't like cheese in their taco, and I'm okay with that. You should be okay with that. It's your personal preference. You know, uh, there goes the cheese, right? I'm a big sauce guy. Mmm, mmm, I like cheese too, right? So, each one of these for me 
if you want to get a dousing of ranch, right, real quick line of ranch, you know, some people might use sour cream, and, you know, you could put your sour cream right here in this bucket, too. You know, uh, you can put it in the squeeze bottle. It'll work just as good. You know, I don't, I, I don't like sour cream so much. I'll eat it, but it's not my favorite. But I do like ranch. And then, of course, guys, honey mustard. All right, honey mustard. You guys should try to put it on everything. Because it's that good. It's that delicious in your belly. And, guys, what you don't have to do is you don't have to drench this stuff. That's honey mustard. Guys, these, these things are good to go. I'm not going to eat one yet. They got to cool down just a little bit before I can eat them. I'm going to turn off my grill top. Once it cools completely down, I'll come out here and clean it for the first time, maybe on video. You know, uh, the sun's going down. If I have time, I'll do it. These Blackstone uh, taco things, they don't get real hot, son. That's kind of cool. You know, I could just uh, shut this over here and bada bing, bada boom. You look at that. My hands, nothing there. I'm not burnt up. You know, are they a little bit warm? Sure. But are they burning me? Hell no. You know, so this is a plus. This is a win for me. I'm going to shove that right there for now. Win. Blackstone taco holders is a win. All right. So, guys, you be you. Enjoy your food. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye.